This is episode 38 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, April 5th, 2021. Today we try an Imperial Milk Stout and then two Fruited Sours. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. Got your other host, Charlie. I'm if you're wrestling with a bottle. We got tech guy, Steve. Hey. We got uh, a couple of different beers today, guys. I think Charlie reached in and uh, grabbed a bottle from Libertine that he, uh, I, I doubt we're going to ever get open. <laughs> <laughs> got that's, a- uh, That's never happened before. Got a bottle from uh, uh, California Wild Ales, uh, all sour brewery here in, in San Diego. Everything touches oak there. Uh, I think that's a collab with- uh, Lost cause, lost cause, <laughs> uh, metery, and then we'll uh, we'll finally we'll end up with a stout there from uh, from four hands. All right, I'm back in my seat. Yay! Get it worked out, Charlie. <laughs> but barely. The doofus I am. They're wrestling with that thing for ten minutes. All right, I love these bottles that come with a cap and a cork. So whoa, it's safe. Whew. Smells pretty pretty uh, boozy. What do you got there, Charlie? What is this? This is the uh, Libertine, Libertine Lama Shades. It's a barrel aged uh, beer, beer de guard style, a wild style, a with apricots and peaches. Smells pretty sour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I had one of these, not one of these, but a sour this weekend or this past week, and it was fabulous. So I'm hoping this thing's going to jump into that same category. Smells fantastic. Oh yeah, definitely got a funky, uh, funky smell to it there. Yeah, huh? it's good. I like it a lot. So it pours kind of like a, like kind of an amber, a lot of, a lot of sediment in there. It's like tangerine yeah. color. It's bright orange tan. Ah, I can taste the peaches. Apricots are the bitter sour part, I think, but definitely taste those peaches. What do you think? Oh, that's super mild. Got kind of a funky uh, aftertaste. Um, I think that's been sitting around a while too. Yeah, the um, that's all right. We should drink more of it. Too bad it came in a little bottle. We can only have so much. Yeah, it's not super over overbearing with the um, with the fruit. You know, it's just kind of a slight, you know, little tart. Apparently, it's tart. I don't taste the tartness. I thought it was at first, but then it just it kind of dies off at the backside. So it does have kind of a kind of a funky little back end on it. I don't know what you want to call that, but it's all right. It's a go. We could drink this. We could drink this now and later. Yeah, I like that. It, it comes on really strong, but then it mild. It's it's really mild on the. Um, let's let's ask, ask the expert. It's drinkable. Oh, there he goes. I, I had to get used to the first. The first taste was just like oh, I don't know if I can drink any more of this, but pretty good punch to start off there, huh? So this is the. Um, did you say this is the uh, peach, apricot, and nectarine? Is it, no, is just that? peach and apricot. It oh, says. Is it okay? No nectars. Wild ale with apricots and peaches. So this, uh, it says it's a stone fruit punch and aged uh, uh, fruited sour. They know what they're talking about. Check yeah. that bottle out there. Yeah, it's kind of a cool label. So Pretty the Libertine cool. right there in Slow is a uh, really cool little uh, um, brew pub, mm-hmm. little restaurant. Um, it's all uh, all wild ales. We've had some adventures there. Do they always do llamas? They do. This is this uh, this series is always around. There, um, there, there's a bunch of different uh, renditions of it. That one's. Um, I think we've had the other one before, though. Yeah. So that skateboard, that skateboard sitting there, it's got the bottle craft emblem on. Yeah, I it think. does. Is that bottle craft or bottle logic? That's bottle craft. Is it cool? I like it a lot. Then. Well, they have the skull from whatever brewery that is, and then they have the Libertine sticker on the other skateboard. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah that's it, all right. It's really good after. It is. It's yeah, got a lot of mild. sediment. Now, in it. now it's good. Now I it's, like that stuff. Now it's tasting really Makes good. Makes it happen. Better maybe as it warms up a little bit. Mm. I don't know if I could drink it warm. A little really warmer. Don't. I mean, cold is where it's at on that. Just to say. What'd you guys drink this week, Steve? How about you? Uh, I'm not ready. Oh, do you want me to go? Sure. Uh, horse. Double dose. Whoa. And uh, Cellar Maker. Oh, gosh. That uh, mango, uh, mosaic mango or mango mosaic. 
outstanding sour. Delish. Probably the one of the best sours I've ever had. It was amazing. Jeff and I, my buddy Jeff and I popped that off. It was good, huh? Delish. Let me tell you, he was like, holy crap, man. I think that's the best beer I've ever had. And I'm like, it's pretty good. That's for sure. It's right up there. It was awesome. It was super awesome. And we were the only ones drinking it. So that was even better. There's that. Yeah, Two people with around. a big bottle, a 22 ounce bottle is pretty That's a, good. Yeah, for sure. That sounds great. It does. Well, then we did that double dose. So, oof, gosh, that was good. Good hey. beer. Nice and, uh, yeah, that's a good beer. Yeah, I, I I handed that to another buddy of mine that was here, and he was like, ah, uh, that's like dessert. And I go, absolutely. Mm-hmm. He goes, man, you taste everything in it, too. That's incredible. I'm like, yeah, this guy knows what he's doing, I think. Pretty sure. <laughs> Last time I checked, he was. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's phenomenal. That's a really good beer, for sure. What'd you boys have? How about you, Steve? Um, picked up something that I... Pretty sure it's uh, very available. So Pizza Port has a new Indian Pale Ale, at least for me. It's called Taste for a Drencher. I've never had it before, but it was really good. I haven't had it either. Very clear. I have not had it either. Nice and hoppy. Is it West Coast? Or just IPA? Or? It just says IPA here. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, it didn't taste like a West Coast. Yeah. But it was just a standard IPA. A new, um, looked like a new logo, like a new drawing that I hadn't seen either. So mm-hmm. it's kind of cool. And their pizza there, I, I always like their pizza. Did you have pizza? Pizza port? Uh-huh. Yeah. Did you have the, uh, Did you go to the one out in uh, OB or what? Yeah, OB and then also up there in... Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Sand I like... Beach. We Carlsbad. ride our scooters out there and uh, grab beer and some pizza yeah. out at Ocean Beach. Mm-hmm. It's you and nice your scooter graying or... Just me and Suzanne occasionally. <laughs> mm-hmm. it on the, that's a long drive. That's a scooter gang. Like, uh, slice pizza and then yeah. come down around like <laughs> through uh, yeah. North Park. You guys don't do the freeway there. No, no, no. I, I, no. They, they don't serve me enough out at Pizza Port to get me on the freeway on that thing. <laughs> yeah, he's a lot braver if he's got a few in him, I guess. Yeah, no, that would be uh, that's unbelievably sketchy. That thing gets sketchy. You get up to like fifty. Yeah, it's faster than I want to be going on that yeah. thing. Yeah, with no car around you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. How about with you, Chris? Uh, so I had, um, I think it was boatloads of Nelson mm. uh, from uh, uh, Humble Sea. Yeah. Um, and then I. Gosh, I had a STS Pilsner, uh, STS Pils from uh, from Russian River, which yeah. is phenomenal, super light. They're Pils, and it's, it's going to be that like it's you know we get some nights like right now it's kind of warm. Um, those Pilsners are just tasting phenomenal. Kind of. Oh gosh, uh, you know what? I take that Humble Sea. I got the Humble Sea box. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a Charlie here and um, just list all these beers. Uh-huh. Go ahead. So they they had a guided tasting the other day with the uh, oh, uh, yeah, with yeah, the owners yeah, yeah, yeah. of. Uh, I remember that. Yeah. So we, um, so Charlie and I just kind of ran through a couple of these beers on, uh, um, they, they did the, you know, the, all the collaborations. Uh, so, so they had a, another half, they had a couple of, they had a Pilsner and a lager from other half in Highland Park. Phenomenal. Gosh, they were good. And then their, um, their fourth anniversary stout was a banger as well. It was on, they were, they were phenomenal beers that like every beer that we had out of that, out of that grouping was really, really good. But the, uh, I think the, um, I think the, the Highland Park and the, the other half did it for me. So I have a question for you. Yes, sir. So I went down to San Diego Brewing Company. I had to drop off something to a, to a coworker. So it was a great place to, to meet up at. So I picked up a Crowler, an IPA there. Um, but what I really wanted was their ESP on nitro, but they wouldn't put it in the Growler can. Is that yeah, a, couldn't nitro reason? it. Nitro it, just fizzes off. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's inappropriate. Okay. But then she was right. I tried to roll she my th- eyes. Steve thought she was lying <laughs> yeah. to him. See, now, if you invent the crowler that will hold a nitro, yeah. then you're going to be a pretty popular dude. So All right. you have the genius to do that, I think. Did you have a beard on there? Yeah, the IPA. They're normal. They're oh, yeah, yeah. You didn't try the nitro then? No, I had to drive. Yeah. <laughs> Why no? But, I mean, you could have got taster. Uh, I didn't. I mean, you didn't have to I haven't been there. chuck Where's- 32 ounces of it. The Friars. Yeah, oh, okay. it's, it's been there forever. Right forever. there on the corner right. of, uh, yeah. Yeah, they don't bottle, they don't put any. It's all just on site brew yeah, pub. Yeah. So, yeah, they're, uh, they've are they been around for a long, yeah, long, long time. time. Yeah, and they have some great beers in there. I mean, nothing to laugh at, that's for sure. But, yeah, if they get a nitro ESB, that's always good. Banksy on nitro is always good. It's a great beer, yeah. 
Did you taste that ESB I sent you home with? That or did we taste that ESB uh, that I got from uh, the other half? We did. Yeah, that, that I ordered some, yeah. specifically. Gosh, that was super good. Yeah, no, that was phenomenal. Charlie, what do you got next? I got this. Uh, what is it? Steve's got it. I don't got it. He's going to have to announce it. Mead berry with vanilla from California Wild Ales. It's and uh, they they got a little help from. Uh, Lost Cause Meadery on this one. So they, um, so the description here is uh, they say it's made with whole raspberries and blackberries that previously Woo. rested in mead created by Lost Cause Meadery. Uh, to kick up the notch, they uh, decided to add handfuls of whole Madagascar vanilla beans. You see that color? That's like shiny penny, isn't it? Oh, that's good. Isn't it now? Oh, my good. He's jumping ahead on us. So the, um, Oh, yeah. yeah. California Wild Ales. I think they're just, uh, they're wow. opening a tasting room, I believe, in Ocean Beach. Um, right now, they're in kind of Sorrento Valley in this little, mm-hmm. um, this tiny. Warehouse. Yeah, like a like a warehouse, like a warehouse, I guess. Um, Roll up. Yeah, you walk in. The, uh, <laughs> the tasting room is about half the size of this little room. And then there's, um, it's just all oak. It's all, everything's in barrels. Uh, and they're super cool little spot. They they brew. I forget where he said they brewed uh, their wort, brought it over there, and then uh, and then put it all in barrels. It was a while ago when we were there. Yeah, it was COVID time. I yeah, think. just after must have been after the shutdown number one. Yeah, I think we we went in there and sat down, and we're only able to take our masks off when you could eat. What that's good. That? Super super smooth. Barrel aged twelve months. Yeah, that's a good one. I thought that might be a good one. That's super good. Pastry sour. Man, you definitely yeah, yeah. sour. I love that line. That has a great, it's super super light on the. Uh, uh, you taste a lot more vanilla, I think, than than you taste it. I think it That's really what makes it smooth. That, uh, I think that raspberry. That is really good for sure. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> nice amount of sour on there. Um, you know, taste a little bit of barrel. I think we tasted more vanilla. everything they had. We did. We went around though. You know, we got the, the rocket round the clock. Yeah, what whatever. We, we whatever. We drank a lot of tasters there, and then we purchased what we liked the best. And this was one of them. I'm going to say good call. Yeah, that's really, really good. Yeah, so it pours a nice pink color. Um, not not super sour. The vanilla gives it a nice nice smoothness. You definitely taste the raspberries and the blueberries in there. Yeah, it's good. I'll take two. If I can find the other one I have, I'd be happy. That is really, oh, really wow. good. Steve likes it. That's uh, a plus. I'm excited about this. Well, yeah, that's nice an easy and get for you if you want. I mean, you just go in there and probably they probably got tons of it available. You know, they had a... Um, when we were there, we and we had talked about that. There, uh, they have a bottle club as well. Um, oh, I didn't know that. I think at that point, when we had went in there, and maybe this could have just been part of the, you know the whole COVID piece, but they, uh, you know, because it they really threw a monkey wrench in there. Like tasting rooms yeah. were closed, and and they're um really really small place. Uh, they, I mean, obviously made it through there, but um, you know, that probably uh, it was probably harder on the the breweries that nobody knew about, right? Yeah, I would Especially imagine. Like yeah. a, um, they're not pushing them out, you know. I. You, did I tell? Did I say I went over to Little Miss the other day? Did I tell you that? No, you did not. Uh, Jeremy and I stopped by there and um, uh, drank a couple of a hazy and a sour that they had, and they were both outstanding. Mm. I mean, that little place. Have you ever been there? Mm-hmm. Oh man! But th- are they brewing there? Or are they brewing? No, they brew somewhere else. Miramar. But, yeah, and then they bring it down there. But that's just a tap room, you know, mm-hmm. like a little taster room. They have another tasting room, I think, they have on four University. Of them. Four Miramar cases. University, and then uh, it's a run up in Vista, and then out here. Yeah, and it's their their stuff is great. I don't know who their brewer is, but he's really good. I mean, he's doing especially with those kettle sours. I mean, yeah, the kettle sours they make are phenomenal. Outstanding. They're really, really good. I mean, I just go there, and every time I go there, I'm just hoping that they got one on tap, you know. But the hazy they had was really good too, so that wasn't a bad call. Jeremy liked them both too, so pretty neat. But yeah, we stopped in there. I forgot to say that. Now I have. Let's carry mm-hmm. on. This is a great beer. <laughs> it is super good. Yeah, no, that's a uh, um, real good amount of uh, everything. Wow, taste delight. Yeah, there. Um, I think everything we had over there was phenomenal. Uh, um, well, everything was good. There were some things that were a little, really. I mean, back of the jaw sour. You know, get up in there and mm-hmm. yeah, you know that sort of stuff. But uh, I, I think I brought. A, I think I brought about seven or eight bottles home from there. Yeah, um, if yeah, I remember we, correctly, we picked up quite a few, uh, quite a few bottles over there. We walked sure. out of there with a box full of stuff. I remember that you had some and I had some, but 
it was uh yeah and this is the first one that we've cracked of those so i think i cracked one um i don't know what it i don't know if it was mead berry with vanilla but i don't know how you could without me i mean that's just unaskable is it undoable how could it happen anywho boys great beer no that's Mm -hmm. phenomenal yep what's up next chris uh so the final beer uh that that we have for today is a four hands uh madagascar um what is it coconut and cacao cacao charlie cacao cacao it is so the uh um this is from four hands um you know what i'm gonna tell them right now i love their 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 bottle pull the piece of tape wrapped in there is awesome i do so it's a wax wax dip top and then it had a little piece of uh paper stuck out so you could just pull that off so you don't have to have a wax cutter that's awesome yeah so peel right off there smells pretty darn good folks Uh, so this is their base madagascar imperial milk stout uh aged in bourbon barrels they toasted coconut uh cacao nibs and premium madagascar vanilla beans uh, they claim there's a rich, multi-layered mixture of coconut, chocolate, vanilla, and bourbon. We're running at 9.3% alcohol. So a nice light little... Uh, low stout flavor, but let's see how it runs. So this bottle, um, they, they released, good. I believe, four different renditions of the uh, of this four hands. Uh, one of my... Uh, St. Louis, friend, right? Yep. Thought so. A uh, friend of mine out of... Uh, out of Iowa had sent these out to me. So you know a few Iowans. I do know a couple guys from Iowa. Tell them to send the toppling Goliath. You know, I was going to, uh, it was um, it was between bringing this bottle or bringing a, um, a Horace uh, toppling Goliath collaboration. Um, hmm. Yeah. So I brought this one. I'm going to say good decision because we're going to have that one next week right there you go there you go <laughs> you know the um this week horace actually listed some uh did you see the the so he listed some geisha yeah. uh coffee beans that mm. had been uh i think mostra had so they had been aged in a toppling goliath bourbon uh stout barrel mm-hmm. um and then uh roasted by mostra i guess those three are putting together a, a stout I'm sure that'll be unbelievable. Barrel aged stout with uh, Mostra. Uh, Mostra's having some uh, some releases this week, or starting like Saturday or something. They got a bunch of stuff. You may have to go up there and get some. Am I your uh, proxy? I can make that happen. It's a matter of uh, doing it. I thought you had to have that at the beginning of the year. No, they'll let you do it anytime. Because I don't, I haven't I haven't stated one. So as long as I can state one, then. You know, they'll let you slide. They don't care. I mean, as long as you're legit, they know me. They know you, so. They got the, um, they have something coming out tomorrow, some cold brew. Yeah, that's right. $12 a bottle. Wow. Yeah. that's It's not cheap. Yeah, it's certainly not. Their cold brew is not cheap. Limit but two per person. They do, um, they have any barrel aged or anything coming out, or is it mm, not, not just. Not of the not cold brew, mm-hmm. no. It's just so two that, different flavors of, sorry, you're going to have to look it up. Yeah, get some beer, Chris. Would you? Gosh, it's holding smell. up the pod craft here, dude. You can smell the chocolate. Just yeah, that. you can smell it. I smell a bunch of stuff in there. What yeah. else is it? It's just vanilla and cacao and coconut. That's what I'm tasting. Mm. So no chocolate. Well, all together, those make chocolate. Oh, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, it certainly smells super chocolatey. Uh, uh, chocolatey on the nose chocolate. with a little bit of. Uh, that bourbon, I think you smell a lot of barrel. Yeah, it's it's a good taster. Good, I mean, this is smooth, it's a you, effervescent. No, yeah, yours is chunky. Um, they you don't. Uh, Ooh, I mean, that's the, good. The drop in the alcohol is super easy mm-hmm. to drink. I'll yes. tell you that. Super I mean, smooth, super light. You know, I mean, it, I think we drink a lot of high gravity stouts. We're yeah. usually in that you know twelve to sixteen percent. Yeah. Uh, this thing, you know, coming in at nine percent, super light. It's like drinking a sour. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny so I, I taste tons of tons of chocolate i think up on up on front that coconut doesn't come through i mean you taste a little bit of it i taste it on the end that's yeah what I was, thought like it was, a little like a little more coconut on there i thought it was coffee but that's probably the cacao jumping in there so cacao anyways wow so i, I mean, wonder just, if their their bourbon barrels aren't like the great bourbon so they're not going to say the name yeah, of the it's bird. Joe's bird. I think it's just a sweeter, like a lighter, uh, lighter base beer, like that. You know, the the sweet 
Oh, but vice them calling out saying like, yeah. "Hey, it's four roses or, or yeah. whatever." Yeah, it's, it's Jim Bean or right, uh, <laughs> right. You got these roasted in pappy barrels. No, what you had is one piece of wood out of a pappy barrel, <laughs> <laughs> which probably still would make it pretty dang good. I would imagine so. That's pretty good. I like wow. it. I'm I'm not uh, I'm not saying that it's it's a good stout. I mean, it's not a bad stout, but it, it's not on the level of what we've been drinking. So, I mean, I don't know. It's just um, other, it's half, right. other half, Horace, you know, uh, J.W. Wakefield, J. Wakefield. That's, uh, that's some pretty good stouts there. But these guys are, that's, I mean, that's a legit bottle. I have know. we had a Wakefield on here? I don't think we have. I was... Uh... I, that was that was the other thing I was gonna I was gonna pull out was like a Horace Wakefield bottle today, but I didn't. I don't think we've had anything here. It's on my um. I have, I have one like of those too. Four not, or five not a Horace. stout I got bottles a lined up. One in there of somebody some collab with them. I saw it the other day and I was like, "Ooh, didn't know I had that." So it might have been a Modern Times one. Might have. I didn't study it. I'm gonna have to write a list of what I got. That should be. A better opportunity, you know, stout, sours, you know. Yeah, you got to yeah, inventory. Steve, we, need the, we, need the inventory. inventory. we need the inventory. We need the an intern for inventory. We need an inventory app. Yeah. yeah. We need that. That's what we need. Somebody has to Tech guy Steve that. needs a uh, an intern. Yeah, he's got nothing else apps, to do, right? Some inventory apps. You got nothing else to do, Steve, right? I was just trying to get the list for our show. not Because <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a little complicated. Is it mm-hmm. of what we've already? Uh, yeah, and the, the the breweries and where they're located at. I, I, sure. I just think it would be helpful if people come to the podcast at some point later after we've recorded for a while and they want to find some of this stuff out. Oh right, yeah. Then we could point to a right, and then we could also know what, how many of certain styles we've had or sure. not had. Yes, yeah, so we've had them all. Searchable. Uh, I like the way you think. We've had them all though. I mean, there's there's not too many beers we haven't drank. The only thing we haven't done, I think, is like Belgian quads. You know, true Belgian beers. I do like the idea, though, having a searchable document that we can yeah, that'd look be up helpful. and say we've looked at uh, right. X, Y, and Z. Be helpful. It'll help when we get like a lawsuit that says we're, we've been, you know, paid under the table for, <laughs> for, for a certain beer, <laughs> brewery. Because we keep, cause we keep naming them. We the keep name. plugging the same, <laughs> uh, same breweries. Well... Same ones that we like. I mean, shoot, somebody uh, somebody posted the other day about where they went, you know, um, to have beer, and I'm like, all right. And then he goes, hey, it went over to Modern Times. Look at this. And I said, now that is a good start <laughs> right there. Now you're talking. You know, if you're going to be here in San Diego, go to the really good breweries. I mean, guys, we have so many really good breweries. I know, but there's some that are like you can go there and. Two beers there are like, you know, you could drink six beers at another place or take six beers in another place and they're not going to be on the same level, in my opinion. I mean, there are some great breweries in town. Don't get me wrong. I mean, but there are some that are doing it just a little bit better. Some. So, I mean, obviously East County, you got two that are fantastic. You know, two of my favorites, you know, Bernie Beard and uh, Creative Creature. And there's others out there. I know that, but you know what? I don't. I don't see them on the same level. That's just me. I mean, everybody else has their own, their own list. But you know, you got Modern Times, you got Pure Project, you got, uh, you know. Then you jump to North County, and you know, there's a ton of them up there. Wild Barrel, you know, Lost Abbey. I mean, it's just anything and everything. But uh, North Park. I don't yeah, know how anybody yeah. could drive through North Park and not stop and get beer there. That's just, you know, <laughs> it's that hard. would be me. It'd be hard. I'm going to go, uh, I think I'm going to go for a scooter ride down there. You know, I, I ended up, um, I bought this mug club at uh, um, the Modern Times, uh, what, what's the one in, in North Park called? I don't, I forget what it's called. I know what it is. Yeah, the the one right there on 30th Street. Yeah. So right you, can next- get a, you could get a mug club for the year, which just started a couple weeks ago. Um, and I haven't been down there to, to, to take my mug for a test run. How could that happen? Um, I just haven't, uh, they just opened up. I haven't they did? been, uh, I've been on call for the last couple of weeks. 
Well, yeah, if I think you're there. They just, I think they just. I think the club just started the beginning of. Uh, maybe it was the end of. But February. you know that if you're there, you might as well drive up the street or walk up the street or scooter. Remember when we took that electric scooter ride from down there at uh, South Park all the way up to uh, Bottlecraft? We did. And you haven't been to Original Forty yet either, have you? I have. Oh, I get you my have? haircut right down there. I walk. I know, but I mean, you didn't here. say anything. You didn't mention it to me, at least. Sure, I did. I shot you a picture, and you gave me the old uh, "Hey, thanks for the invite." Yo, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we're good. <laughs> That's all that matters. Uh, <laughs> as long as you were you were insulted with my "Thanks for the invite." <laughs> oh, I was getting my hair cut. Sure, you were. Mm-hmm. Get your hair cut yesterday. Oh, I got my beard cut then. I think that's illegal now to get your beard cut. At least it that's is, what I think. That's what I tell my wife. Trim. That's why I'm. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm letting it they're roll. Not, they're not doing. They're not doing beard trims. Really? Just yeah. They. Uh, um, the the place that I normally go, Pappy's, over mm-hmm. on. Uh, it's over on uh, University. Um, yeah, they they moved into a building twice the size, and oh, then uh, man. so they're across the street from where they used to be. Yeah, at the old uh, music guitar place. Hmm. It could have been. Could have been a time machine for all I know, but they uh, they they moved across the street and they're they're not doing right now. It's haircuts only, no mm. beard trims. So that's terrible. I'm uh, growing this out till I have to get on a face to face Zoom meeting, or I uh, <laughs> I could help you out, or uh, yeah, come over to it. Charlie's barber and and shave over yeah, here. Exactly, I'll trim one side really nice. I need a well, I need a shave though. I was just thinking that I was like, you know what I think you ought to do? Shave the mustache and just go with that lower beard. Just thing. the neck, just the giant <laughs> neck beard. How about you first? Right? <laughs> no, come on, that'd be ugly. <laughs> right. I'd look terrible. Yeah. You'd look great. You'd look Amish. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, just come on over. We'll build a bar. We'll Wear <laughs> suspenders and whatnot. No, that's great, man. No, no, no offense to all the our Amish listeners. No, well, <laughs> heck, no. They don't have they don't have podcasts available to them unless they're on Yom Springer, unless they're uh, they're Jack work- Amish. Jack <laughs> Amish. <laughs> I know him. He owes me money. They could use tech at work. I think they can, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When they're working. No. Oh, really? no, yeah, they can. I swear to you, I could show you some pictures. Well, then they're the cheaters. Mm. I yeah, I, I think I think I think when they're at work and they're doing. Legitimate work, they can use technology. So, I don't know how that can happen. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they all got cell phones when they're working. They do. <laughs> when they're out plowing 600 million acres. I don't think, yeah. I mean, I think like the movie, you know, like, yeah. I think what Charlie's thinking is like he's he's imagining like you remember the movie Witness mm-hmm. right that's what Charlie's imagining <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. like <laughs> like whereas I think me and you are more on yeah, the yeah. same like you guys right. are talking about Mennonites. No, not Amish. Uh, no, I, I, I'm actually talking Amish. Yeah, and, and I know a little bit about this because I spent some time in Indiana and I studied it. You were an Amish, right? There's, yeah, yeah I was so, say, like, I mean, like some of the best, some of the best um, uh, van conversions are built by Amish people. And yeah, working in these shops and stuff, and then like the people who are when they're um, selling their produce, you can't run a produce stand with not having being able to communicate with the rest of the world, and so mm, cell phones are something they use, right, know. when they're doing work. And they don't I would they turn them off, and they just they don't come in the house, and that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's unusual. I oh. feel really, really let down by them for that. Hmm. I thought the they movies were going told to... you a different story, I believe. No, Charlie. I wasn't watching movies. I did see Witness, though. But I saw a bunch of Amish movies. I love that. Remember Kingpin? <laughs> 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 That's terrible. That's exactly. That's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> We All should right. just stop talking yeah, about right, that. Right. You're now. trying to get us canceled. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> canceled. We're already canceled. All right. Well, so there it is. So we uh, three, three great beers. We had uh, Charlie uh, busted out the Libertine, the Llama Shades, the. Uh, then we went to the the California Wild Ales, the Lost Cause Meadery uh, collab, uh, and finally we hit that that four hands. Charlie, what did uh, what did you think was your favorite? <sighs> I'm gonna go with the. Um the uh california wild ale oh yeah how about yep. you steve same i'm going the same as well we got a uh we got what? a champion Trifecta. i think that might be the first time we've yeah. all agreed on uh wow. on one beer i mean the stout was really 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 good I mean, it was good had great it was stouts, good but it's not like if you if you said hey what's the best wild ale we might have had this might have been it. i would agree <laughs> yeah just the, the mouthfeel on it you know it was a little thicker i think than normally it was certainly a lot thicker than than the libertine that that you had that we brought out and that fruit it was just a really good um a phenomenal mixture 
I like smooth it. with that vanilla. You definitely tasted the. <clears throat> I think the libertine the was just it. It was weak as far as taste compared to that. Had a nice punch up front. But yeah, then it, it was. was like died off. Yeah, really it ran away quickly. real quick. At first, it had kind of a barnyard funky taste to it a little bit, <laughs> and then. Mm. Um, but I thought it was great. And the um, the uh, the Madagascar, I think it's a it's a good sca- good stout, but just doesn't uh, you know we're I think we're used to hey, a little heck bit thicker. Cow in it, man. Yeah, that was good beer. But good, uh, good, good way to go. I'm with you on the the wild ales was the was the one for me today. Hit it. Till next time. Cheers. 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 Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. And compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Oh, oh.